in this episode, we're going to be talking about the secrets to making songs that people can truly relate to. So many things are factors when it comes to making music that's relatable, but without this key factor, I feel like none of the other ones even matter. If your vocals do not connect with the listener, then it won't even really matter what, what your lyrics say, in my opinion. So today we're gonna be talking about why it is important to have passion and emotion in your vocals. And we are also gonna be giving you guys some actionable steps that you can take to improve your vocal delivery. Let's go. Let's face it, if, if a song comes on and you aren't able to connect with that artist's voice, then you probably are not going to become a fan. You probably won't be able to relate to that music. That's why it is so important to have passion in your vocal delivery and convey emotions when doing so. When I listen to a song, I not only want to hear the lyrics, but I want to feel the lyrics. A lot of artists will submit to my stream and, and the beat will be nice. The the levels of the vocals, the mix will be clean, but it's just not believable. Like, I just don't believe what they're saying. They don't have that that passion or that emotion in their voice and, and it just doesn't connect. The main reason for that is that there's no emotion. There's no passion in the vocal delivery. So so when there's no passion or no emotion, it's hard to it's hard to connect with that artist. The first time I heard Tupac, I was seven years old and I can still remember how I felt when, when I heard that artist's voice. I can still remember the way that his music would excite me and, and I can still remember the passion in, in every one of his lines and the emotion in all of his lyrics. When we write a music, we need to understand what type of feeling we want people to have when they listen to that. Then we can try to convey those emotions into our vocal delivery and then convey them emotions into that song. If you want somebody to feel sad when they listen to that specific song, those are the type of emotions you need to stir up before you record it. Do whatever you have to do to put yourself in that emotional state. Even if you have to think back on some of your darkest moments or, or, or be on the brink of tears. If you put that passion and emotion into the recording, when people hear it, they gonna feel it. So let's talk about some actionable steps y'all could take to improve your vocal delivery. One, make sure you guys memorize your lyrics. If you memorize your lyrics, your delivery is gonna be stronger. Everything that we do takes brain power. So when we're looking at a piece of paper, trying to read some lyrics, that's gonna take power and energy away from our vocal performance. So make sure you memorize your lyrics so you can devote 100% energy to your vocal performance and you can really get in the zone and really let loose. Number two, rehearse. The more times that y'all rehearse, the performance, the more comfortable you're gonna be, the more you can experiment, and ultimately the better the vocal delivery gonna be. So I suggest rehearsing your lyrics 25 to 50 times before recording it. Rehearse in the mirror, rehearse for family, for friends, rehearse for strangers, just rehearse. And number three, every time you go into the vocal booth to record, Picture yourself on stage performing for a packed stadium. When you get down recorded, ask yourself, was that vocal performance good enough to rock a crowd of 50,000 people? If you can't answer yes to that question, then go back and re-record the vocals. All right, y'all, that's it for today. Thank y'all so much for checking us out. And don't forget to head over to crockpotcartel.com and submit your music for a free review. And if you need help writing songs, head over to Songwriting Assistant and check out our songwriting wizard.